Welcome to the Huddle Up event with Waku Radio and NFL alumni. Yeah. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Adam, Adam Miles, Adam Miles Jr., all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, is this your first time at this event, or have you come here a few times? No, this is my first time. Uh, okay. I came across it on social media, and I'm like, okay. Cool. All right. I'm loving the studio. I'm loving everything. This is this is dope. I know it's pretty <laughs> epic, right? The, the like the 180 degree screens, yeah, the there's a lot 360 of moment, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you are you originally from Vegas, or I'm actually from California. Okay. I moved to Vegas to go to UNLV. Okay. Uh, about seven years ago. Okay. And you uh, run a business or you're an aspiring entrepreneur? I, I do call myself an entrepreneur. I, I am, Right now, I started a new career with Banker's Life. I sell life insurance. Uh, I help people turning 65, get on Medicare, um, extended care, things like that. Um, but I, I am an entrepreneur. I, I have my own business. It's called Bag Season. Uh, and then I have a nonprofit organization. It's called Bag Season Sports Club. Oh, nice. Want to tell us a little bit about those... Uh Two uh, organizations and uh, businesses you have? I'd love to, yeah. Um, so start. I started off with Bag Season uh, in 2018. Uh, bag Season means the act of being in your own world, focused in control on your grind in your own lane. Nice. And so oh, the the purpose was I, I had a, a room, uh, an apartment full of roommates, right? And I'm like, look, if we're going to live together, we need to do something. We need to make money together. Let's yeah. let's create something. And so we ended up coming up with like the Bag Season Boys. And, oh, that's sick. Um, we threw parties around UNLV when we were all going there. Oh, shit. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of how it started. It started as like a party thing, and uh, we started selling T-shirts and clothes, and and we all kind of moved out of the of the, yeah. the apartments, and, you know, I was like, I, I'm going to continue the business. Like, I, I LLC'd the business. I didn't know what I was doing, mm -hmm. and and I just I went out on a limb and, and continued to grow. We, we continued with more events, um, and... I ended up kind of like switching the brand over into a sports and athleisure wear uh, type of company. And and now we're producing football gloves. Um, still, we have athleisure. So that's going to be top and bottom sweats, T-shirts, tank tops, jerseys. Uh, I, I customized some football gloves. And so we're, we're still growing and expanding. Um, I still consider it as a new business. Uh, I'm in, we're in it for the long run. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How, so... With uh, with your apparel line or your sports sports at, uh, athleisure athleisure yeah. okay yeah with that are you are you outsourcing to like China or are you keeping this all in the United States um I actually I, I worked with a couple of manufacturers in um, Pakistan okay um and um I I'm definitely about to start ordering from China I have okay. a couple of uh samples from there cool. um so yeah I'm 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 div I'm, but. If I can find a solid, solid manufacturer here in the States, I'm definitely going to. Absolutely. Do I agree. Yeah. yeah. And keep it all within the U.S. You yeah, know what I mean? But, exactly. But no, it's funny that you said that because actually, our, like, Waku Radio was pretty much built off of, like, a bunch of boys in high school. And we were just the yeah. homies. And we were, like, that. and we were like, fuck it, let's go. Let's do this <laughs> yeah. thing, right? We just yeah. came up with little different business plans. We started off as a car crew. Yeah. Cool, man. It's cool that you're you're you're. You're in the same mindset as yes, sir. It's all about building the collective and yeah. growing, growing that collective and absolutely something that can you know benefit everybody as a mm -hmm. whole. It's it's also a good way to stay out of trouble too, man. You know what I mean? Facts, facts. <laughs> we we definitely got into some trouble, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's that's part of growing up. There, you know? <laughs> and then this uh nonprofit organization. Uh, tell us a little bit more of that. Is that that's not related to what you just told us about the uh, athleisure, right? Bag season and bag season sports club are similar. Okay. In, in in nature, uh, due to the fact I started bag season sports club during COVID, actually. Okay. Um, there was a time where there was no sports being played mm -hmm. during that time, and um, there was a lot of like I'm from California, so there's a yeah. lot of uh, movement of you know people starting club sports teams, and I, I came from a football background, so right. um, I'm like okay, like I I kind of want to get a part of it. Like mm -hmm. this this is gonna go down in history and the history books of like. Yeah, they were shutting. They shut down everything, but you can't shut down a, somebody's whole high school one. Somebody's whole high school year yeah. of playing sports. You know that it's big for recruiting. Mm -hmm. um, but also, it's like getting kids out there to continue with their dreams and aspirations in mm -hmm. sports. Uh, football changed a lot for me, mm -hmm. um, so I decided that I was going to create Bag Season Sports Club, and I was going to. I was going to. Um, our our mission is to help student athletes get scholarships uh, through entrepreneur, um, through mentorship mm -hmm. and um, and and eventually get scholarships nice so cool. we we started the uh, I started literally coaching a team 
at the uh, All American Football Fields. I put out a flyer on social media, DM'd it to a bunch of high school dudes that I knew that was that were doing stuff, yeah. and um, I ended up getting a. And we to end it all, we had a thirty person team. Oh wow! Um, I partnered with another team that was uh, started in Henderson, mm -hmm. and we were traveling to Arizona to play in this big bowl like arena and oh, yeah. nicely organized by uh, an, uh, another organization and. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience because a lot of the juniors and seniors that were missing a year um, weren't gonna get that film nice. that they needed to, you know, send out to 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 get scholarships to uh, colleges. That's cool. So yeah, we we had a really good season. We went two and two. They uh, we couldn't do the last game because the boys were graduating mm -hmm. high school. But it was such an uh, amazing experience. They uh, they're all. They all are super close to me still, and I, I reach out to a lot of my guys. I, I actually I try to put guys on on jobs and and different things. Yeah, so cool. it, it's all about um, paying it forward and and you know mm -hmm. mentorship for me. Yeah. So like in the next five years, where do you see like this leading? Like, what's your goal for it? Man, uh, the the sports club. I definitely see myself becoming an organization that throws events mm -hmm. like this. Something that uh, can partner with other organizations within the the surrounding area. Uh, to put on, I really want to do uh, an annual and or, you know, quarterly event or events, sporting events. Um, that's, that would be football, basketball. Um, I'd dive into some of the girls sports, volleyball, um, softball, yeah. things like that. Just to just to continue the uh, the the morale of sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the WNBA right now in Vegas is undefeated, right? So. Yeah. They're big. Yeah. They're actually amazing. I've been to a couple yeah. of games. I love it. I'm like, pretty Yo, crazy, man. They're dope. Pretty yeah. Up. One of our mottos uh, is to embrace the fearless. And, you know, as a young entrepreneur, uh, I know we counter fear and stuff like that. So like for someone else that's trying to be an entrepreneur or be a business person, what are some ways that you do or things that you do to kind of get over that fear? Uh, for me, it's it's definitely uh, planning out my day the the night before. Mm -hmm. I think that definitely helps with uh, overthinking mm -hmm. and uh, becoming complacent with just oh uh, you know um, when it comes to fear, um, I tend to practice breath work mm -hmm. and uh, meditation. I I know that's it's been become a thing, but I think it's super important to Absolutely. one staying healthy and keeping your mind clear mm -hmm. to be able to make your next move like at the end of the day it's all about movement mm -hmm. and action absolutely if you're not making action then what are you doing dude man that's, a, that's your tagline right don't there you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you're not making action what are you doing <laughs> yeah that's pretty awesome is there anything that you need to plug or want to plug uh man uh well i just started a, a career in in holistic retirement planning if anyone needs any life insurance or their their grandparents need some medicare help and uh, need some understanding of of what to do with their plan. Um, please have them reach out to me. My Instagram is Adam Stay Woke. Uh, you can follow my business pages at Bag Season Official and then Bag Season Sports Club. Life of a hustler. Check me out. Uh. Life of a hustler. See me on the road. I'm in hustle mode. Real estate mogul. Commercial real estate.